Hello friends. Today let us know how to write the Roman numerals. Okay. Now first let us see what are the basic Roman symbols. Now see here. One is written as I. Five means V. Ten means X. Fifty means L. Hundred means C. Five hundred means D. Thousand means M. Now using these seven basic symbols, we can write numbers up to ten thousand or more also. Okay. Now let us see the first one. One means I. We already know. Two means two I's. I should write. And remember one thing: don't join two I's and make it as a one line because I is different and another I is different. So write it as separately only. Now three means again three I's. So if I add I plus I plus I, that means one plus one plus one three. Four. Now four I cannot write four I's because I can be repeated only three times, not more than that. So four means I can write it as five minus one. Now five means V. So from V I should subtract I. I means one. So when we are subtracting smaller symbol. from a greater symbol that means the smaller symbol should be returned towards the left hand side of the greater symbol so four means i'll write it as i v now five means we already know the symbol v six six means five plus one six so for, for v if i add i i get six seven i can write it as five plus two so five is v plus two so i i eight five plus three So five plus three i's, nine. Now nine means I cannot write it as v i i i again i, because it cannot be repeated more than three times. So nine I can write it as ten minus one. So for ten we know the symbol is x. So from x I should subtract i. So we are subtracting smaller number from the greater number. So we are writing it to the left hand side. So nine means i x. Now ten. Ten means we know the symbol x. Eleven. Ten plus one, so i x plus i. Twelve. Twelve means ten plus two, so x i i. Thirteen. Ten plus three, x plus three. Fourteen. X plus x means ten. Ten plus four, so fourteen, so x i v. Fifteen. Ten plus five, so x v. Fifteen. Next, sixteen, ten plus six, so ten plus six, seventeen, ten plus seven, eighteen, ten plus eight, nineteen, ten plus nine. So see how simple it is to write down. Twenty. Now twenty, I should write two times x because I'm adding x plus x. That is ten plus ten, twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty plus one, so twenty. Two x plus I, twenty-two, two x, two i's, twenty-three, twenty plus three, three i's, twenty-four, twenty plus four, i v four, twenty-five, twenty plus five, so twenty-two x plus v, twenty-six, twenty plus six, so v i, twenty-seven, twenty plus seven, twenty-eight, twenty. Plus eight, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty plus nine. Nine we know the symbol i x. Thirty. Now thirty I can write three x because it can re it can be repeated up to three times. So three x. So that is thirty. Now thirty-one. So thirty plus one that is i. Thirty-two. Thirty plus two. Thirty-three. Thirty plus three. Thirty-four. Thirty plus four i v. Thirty-five, thirty plus v, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty plus six, thirty-seven, thirty plus seven, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty plus eight, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty plus nine. Now forty. Forty I cannot write four x. Now forty how can I write? Fifty minus ten. So fifty means the symbol is l. Fifty it is l. So ten means x. So from fifty, I'm subtracting ten. So I should write it as x l. So fifty minus ten becomes forty. Now forty one. 
So XL we know that is 40 plus I if I add 41. 42. So XL 2, 42. 43. XL plus 3, 43. 44. So 40 that is XL plus 4, 44. 45. 40 XL plus 5. 5 means V, 45. Okay. Yes. Now next. 45 we have seen now 46. So 40 plus 6. 46. 47. 40 plus 7. 47. 48. 40 plus 8. 48. 49. 40 plus 9. 49. Now 50. 50 we know the symbol is L. Now 51. 50 plus 1. So 1 means I. 51. 52. 50 plus 2. 52. 53, 50 L plus 3, 53, 54, 50 plus 4, 54, 55, 50 plus 5, 55, 56, 50 plus 6, 56, 57, 50 plus 7, 57, 58, 50 plus 8, 58, 59, 50 plus IX, that is 9, 59, 60, 60 means 50 plus 10, 50 means L, X means 10. So 50 plus 10, that is 60. So L, X, 50 plus 10, 60. So L, X means 60. 61, L, X plus I, 61. 62, L, X plus I, I, that is 2, 62. 63, 60 plus 3, 63. 64, 60 plus 4, 64. 65, 60 plus 5. 5 means V. 66. 60 plus 6. 66. 67. 60 plus 7. 67. 68. 60 plus 8. 68. 69. 60 plus 9. 69. 70. 70 means 50 plus 20. So 50 means L. 20 means 2X. Okay. Now next 71. 70 plus I. That is 1. 71. 72, 70 plus 2, 72, 73, 70 plus 3, 73, 74, 70 plus 4, 74, 75, 70 plus 5, 75, 76, 70 plus 6, 76, 77, 70 plus 7, 77, 78, 70 plus 8, 78, 79, 70 plus 9, 79. Now next, 80. 80 means I can write it as 50 plus 30. So 50 means L, 30. So 3X, 10, 10, 10, 30. So 50 plus 30, 80. Now 81. 80 you know, add 1 to it, 81. 82. 80 plus 2, 82. 83. 80 plus 3, 83. 84. 80 plus 4, 84. 85, 80 plus 5, 85, 86, 80 plus 6, 86, 87, 80 plus 7, 87, 88, 80 plus 8, 88, 89, 80 plus 9, 89, 90, now 90 I cannot write 4 times x, so 90 I should write it as 100 minus 10, so 100 means c 10 means x. So from 100 I should subtract 10. That means x c. So from c I am subtracting x. So I get 90. So x c means 90. Remember this. Next 91. So 90 plus 1. 91. 92. 90 plus 2. 92. 93. 90 plus 3. 93. 94. 90 plus 4. 94. 95. 90 plus 5. 95. 96, 90 plus 6, 96. Next. 97, 90 plus 7, 97. 98, 90 plus 8, 98. 99, 90 plus 9, 99. Now 100, 100 you know it is C. Now 101, 102, you can write easily. 100, 
101 means just add i 101 102 so 100 plus 2 so for 100 add 2 103 so 100 plus 3 so in that way you can find out so now next 200 so 200 means i can write it as 100 plus 100 so that is c plus c so 200 now 300 means 100 plus 100 plus 100 so i can write it as 100 plus 100 plus 100 means c again c again c so three times c so 300 now 400 i cannot write it as c c c c again c because not more than three times i should repeat a symbol now 400 means what i should do from 500 i should subtract 100 so from from 500 i should subtract 100 so 100 i am going to subtract first from from where I am going to subtract from 500. 500 means the symbol is D. So 400 means C D. D means 500. So from 500 I am subtracting 100. So 400. Now 500 you know. 500 means it is D. Now 600. 600 means for 500 if I add 100. So 500 plus 100 is 600. So 500 we know. For this I should add 100. 100 means C. So D, C. So 500 plus 100 is 600. Now 700 means 500 plus 200. So 200 means 2C. 100 plus 100. So D means 500. 500 plus 200. That is 700. Now 800. 500 plus 300. If I add it, I get 800. Okay. So for 500 I am adding 3 times C that is 3 times 100. So 500 plus 300 800. Now 900. 900 I cannot write 4 C's. Okay. Now here what I should do from 1000 I should subtract 100. From 1000 if I subtract 100 I get 900. So what is the 1000 symbol? M. M means 1000. So from 1000 I should subtract 100. So, I am subtracting 100 means C from 1000. So, it is C M. So, from M I am subtracting C. C M. Now, 1000. What is the symbol for 1000? M. It is M. Now, 2000. Now, we can write 2 times M. So, 2000, 1000 plus 1000, 2000. 3000, same. 3M, if I add, I get 3000. 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000. But 4000, I cannot write 4Ms. Because, the same rule. The symbol cannot be repeated more than 3 times. So, 4000 means, from 5000, I should subtract 1000, 1000. From 5000, I should subtract 1000. Then I get 4000. Now, but do we have any symbol for 5000? No. So now see here. 5000 how we are going to write. We know 5. 5 we write like this. So, on top of 5, if I put a bar. On top of 5 symbol, if I put a bar. This bar represents 1000. This bar represents 1000. This is, what is the value of this symbol? 5. So, 5 multiplied with, what is the Value of this bar, 1000. So, 5 into 1000 is equal to 5000. So, here for 4000, what we should write from 5000, I should subtract 1000. So, 5000 means V bar, that is 5000. So, from that I should subtract 1000. So, 1000 means M. So, from where I should subtract this M from V bar. That means from 5000, I am going to subtract 1000. So, I get 4000. Understood? Next. 5000. 5000 now, just now we got how to write the 5000 value. Now, 5000 means V bar. Don't touch this. Okay. On top only, the bar should be written. This is 5000. Next, 6000. Now, 6000 means 
I can write it as 5000 plus 1000. Now 5000 we know of the value now. V bar. Now for this I should add 1000. So it becomes 6000. 7000 V bar that is 5000. I should add 1000 plus 1000. So 5000, 6000, 7000. 8000 same. For 5000 if I add 1000, 1000 and 1000. So 5000 plus 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000. It becomes 8000. Now 9000 I cannot write 4 M's. Now 9000 I can write it as 10,000 minus 1000. 10,000 minus 1000. But 10,000 do we have any value? We, do you have any symbol there? No. So we should learn first that one. Now 10,000 means. Now you know what is 10 symbol X. So for X if I am putting a bar. So bar means I told you just now. What is the value of this bar? 1000. Now what is the value of this symbol? 10. X means 10. So 10 into 1000. 10 into 1000 becomes 10,000. 10 into 1000 becomes 10,000. So 9,000 means from 10,000 I should subtract 1000. So I am subtracting 1000. 1000 means M. From where I should subtract from? 10,000. So X bar 10,000. Now got this. Now 10,000 just now we found out X bar 10,000. So see how simple it is to write in Roman numbers if you know only 7 basic symbols in Roman numerals. So those who don't know any Roman numbers also can learn very easily. Hope you all like this video. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.